Your vehicle may have a feature that gives you a complete view all around it. Let me explain. The 360 degree camera with split view display uses cameras mounted in the front grille, tailgate handle, and side view mirrors to give you a continuous view of everything around you. When you shift into reverse, the camera automatically shows you a 360 degree view on the right side of the screen, as well as a rear view on the left side of the screen. When looking at the 360 degree view, you'll see dotted yellow lines on each side of the vehicle. These represent the keep out zone and let you know where the edges of your mirror are in relation to what you're seeing in the camera image. Green, yellow, or red highlights show up wherever the closest object detected is when you're in reverse. There's also a small white car icon in the upper left corner of your touchscreen. It lets you know which camera view is being used. For example, 360 view, split view, etc. The icon highlights will change as you switch from one view to another. You can change the camera view you see using the camera button on the dash above the display screen. Push it once for a full rear view. Here, you'll also see the park distance control alert in the upper right corner. Press it again for a split view of what's behind you. Split view will allow you to see cross traffic or cars coming from either side, and that can be helpful when you're backing out of a parking space. When you shift into drive, you'll have to push the camera button for a front view, as it doesn't automatically come on. When you do, it will show a split screen with a 360 degree image on the right side of the screen and a normal front view on the left side. Press it again for a normal front view and once again for a front split view. When in reverse, you can change the camera view you see by using the camera button on the dash above the screen and pushing it until you get the view you want. Keep in mind, the change camera view function only works when you're driving forward at six miles per hour or below for safety purposes. And when in reverse, you can use the zoom button on the touch screen to get a closer view of what's behind your vehicle. Any questions? Go to FordOwner.com.